If only I could predict the future, then I'd have definitive answers for all the people who ask me, what's going to happen in the real estate market in the next few months to a year? Oh, the power. <laughs> well, what I tell folks isn't necessarily attention grabbing stuff that makes headlines on big news channels, but I just don't believe in fear mongering for the sake of clicks and buzz is the way to go. Here's a roundup of what I think will be the major trends in our local real estate market in 2023. Number one, we will continue to feel the effects of low housing inventory. This isn't just an Iowa City problem, it's nationwide. Nationally, housing inventory is down 42% from 2019. Builder activity is grinding to a halt as they look to reduce risk in what many people believe is a recessionary economy. New housing starts are down 8.8% from a year ago. Number two, homeowners will be reluctant to sell. Not only is there not a lot to choose from when you're out house shopping, many sellers also refinanced into ultra low interest rates offered during the pandemic, and those rates are very, very hard to walk away from. According to a Redfin analysis of a national mortgage database, only 85% of homeowners with mortgages have a mortgage interest rate far below 6%, effectively locking them into their current homes unless they have an extreme need to move. In Iowa, 60.4% of homeowners have a mortgage and of those with a mortgage, get this, 87.6% have a mortgage rate under 5%. Number three, first time buyers are the newest member of the endangered species list. Home prices are up 40% from October 2019, but guess what hasn't increased 40%? Incomes. Add those housing prices to the volatile interest rate jumping between six and 7% and you've just got a barrier for many buyers, especially first time buyers. Historically, first time buyers make up about 40% of home purchases, but they are now only making up about 28% of sales. Number five, it is going to be a lot harder to sell your home. Nationally, as of October, 2022, Home sales have declined for the ninth month in a row. Sales of existing homes, including single family homes, townhomes, condos, and zero lots were down 28.4% in October, month over month. If you're trying to sell, it's gonna be of utmost importance to position your home on the market properly because those first few weeks will be make it or break it time. Desirable homes, they're still seeing buyer interest and possible multiple offers, but homes that sit on the market for more than 120 days, well, they're seeing prices reduced by about 16%. Number six, prices are still rising year over year nationally, but the increase is getting smaller than it has been in the last couple of years. Some markets that saw especially bubbly appreciation during the pandemic are now seeing prices drop and the media attention to these adjustments right now is heightened due to normal seasonal variations on prices during the late fall and the winter months. Lawrence Yan, the chief economist for the National Association of Realtors, says that about half of the country can expect to see average home prices decline in the months ahead, but in most areas of the nation, that will be by a modest amount, while the other half of the country will likely continue to see modest home price increases. Number seven, because of this shifting real estate market, both buyers and sellers need to adjust their understanding of the rules of the game. If you're looking to buy, what does this shifting market mean for you? Well, don't feel pressured to make snap decisions, but do act with some level of urgency. While bidding wars are no longer the norm in most areas, you can still expect to face competition for desirable properties. Don't assume that you're the only buyer out there who happened to notice a hot ticket of a home. You can make more demands that you would have previously, like including contingencies or asking the seller to contribute to your closing costs. If today's mortgage rates are just eating into your budget, you can also ask the seller to buy down your interest rate for the first few years of your loan. Just don't expect to get everything and the moon in your offer. My stance on the Iowa City area housing market continues to be steady. I believe that we will see a year or two of possibly no appreciation to modest home appreciation here locally. 
demand varies across housing types and price points. So it is more important than ever to be working with an agent that has the knowledge and the skill set to help you focus in on the micro market that you are navigating. Hey, if you are interested in buying, selling, or relocating here in the Iowa City area, you can find all of my contact information down below in the description box of this video. If you're watching on your phone, just tap the title of the video and that description box will open right up for you. Hey, it's been fun and I'll catch you later.